Hi guys, a little chat for you today regarding macros. Um, I was reminded last night um, by Sarah and Charlotte that a few people um, might want to uh, have it explained a little bit more. So, macronutrients, what are they? Um, I know you've been given macro goals to hit, but maybe you don't know what's in what and so on. Once you start sticking things into my fitness pal, you'll get used to it and you'll find out what's in what foods because it tells you. Um, and then you'll be able to balance that, add a few grams of this, that and the other to balance and add a few different macros so that you're hitting um, your targets. So, food. All food and drinks are made up of different macronutrients. Um, it's rare that a food would be 100% carb. Okay, let's just go back a step. So, macronutrients are carbs, fats, proteins, okay? That's the basics of it. You can go further into it and go into micronutrients and things, but for this video, we're just going to do macronutrients. Carbs, fats, proteins. Now, foods, and nearly all foods, will have a percentage of each of these macronutrients. There'll be a split of, you know, these different macros. Some foods, but it's rare that a food will be 100% one macronutrient. So when you're saying, well, what foods are carbs? All right, so as an example, you might say, well, potatoes are, are carbs. You can go further into it and say whether it's a simple carb or, um, or a complex carb or um, where it is on the GI scale. But, you know, for this, we're just going to say, right, potatoes are carb, and we could tell you that. But actually, if, if you just say if, if you're just trying to get your carbs from that, actually you're gonna use there will be some fats in it, maybe marginal. There might be a little bit of protein in there as well. So you can't just say, oh well, I'll eat 250 grams of um, potato because you will be pulling other macros in there. Um, I'll just give you a quick demo. So I've got a couple of things here. I've got first of all a my protein protein brownie, which um, are great. I have one every day, pretty much. You can get them on my Instagram, one Sebastian David. You can get them on the link there, and um, with my special discount. Okay, so this is quite probably quite obvious that it's going to have different macronutrients in, and if you can see on there. Per 100 grams, and then it'll have the, well, it's got the fat, it's got carbs, it's got protein, okay? I know it's the wrong way around, so I'll read those out to you. So per 100 grams, it's got 383 calories, of which 13 grams of fat, um, 35 grams of carbs, and 5.3 three of those are sugars, get your fibre on there and so on, but protein's 30 grams, okay, that's per 100, now this bar's 75 grams, so it has the 70, the macros for 75 grams there, which are, are obviously slightly less than 100, so you would record, right, I've had, I've, you would either record that you've had one of these, and it's the 75 gram section, so you'd probably just scan the barcode and it'd come up like that. Or you could type in per 100 grams and then it would bring up the macros per 100 grams and then you'd put in, well, I've had 75 or not, 0.75 um, of the 100 grams. So then that would bring up what you've had. So that's all it is. The macros of it are, are the split between, between the proteins, fats and... Um, carbs. Do another one that you'll all be familiar with, something that I don't have ever or very rarely. But anyway, here are the macros and it's the same on everything. I've just got this because you'll be familiar with it. Um, 
and it'll be the same on everything. You can read the back of the label and it'll say per 100 grams, proteins, 4.1 grams of protein per 100 grams. Sorry, 24 per 100 grams. A lot of it's sugar, 23 of it, which is why I don't really have it. It's not a good carb source, even though you know, you, you're not going to have anywhere near 100 grams. So you've got your carbs, your fats, your, your proteins. Anyway, so that's that. Um, you can check all the labels, everything you eat, it'll have a label on there. It'll tell you what macros are on there. Um, now, great if you're eating stuff that does have a big split, things like the my protein cup um, brownie there. That's got a, um, a decent split of um, proteins, fats and carbs. It's got quite a bit of each of them in. Um, so it's great if you're eating things like that throughout the day. Great, record them. But it's also very good to have some closer to pure um, sources of each for the last meal of the day. Because often you'll get to the last meal of the day, you might be short of, uh, you might have hit everything bang on, but but you're a little bit short on, let's say, fats. So you need to have 10 grams of fat, and that's all you've got left to use for that day. So if you start putting, um, let's say you, you go, oh, well, fats, peanut butter's fat, okay, primarily. If you start putting that in there, it's going to have some carbs, and it's going to have some protein in as well. So that'll take you over your your carbs and your protein um, macros for the day. Um, so ideally you would have saved some and you'll have a little bit of each macro to hit and you can top it up using things like that. But it's great to have a few close to pure sources. Um, I tend to go with, I tend to balance mine to be honest so I can um, easily hit them all by using oats and things. But if you have to, um, you can use egg yolks with pretty much pure fat. You can use, um, you can use coconut oil or butter for fat. Um, let's give a few examples. Protein, whey protein, casein protein, uh, pretty close. Uh, egg yolks, pretty close. Tuna, chicken breast, um, they're pretty close. Lean. Um, carbohydrates, you know, you can go with fruits or you can go with um, an easy one. If you've got loads to hit, you can stick um, some honey in there. That's that's pretty close to um, pure carbs, even though it's not optimal and you want to be hitting these things through more whole foods throughout the day. But it's just a little things to top up at the end of the day. Uh, let's see, did I have anything else to talk about? Oh yeah, one other thing, just a reminder. No foods make you slim, no foods make you fat. You can't say, I had a question about milk, okay? So, whole fat milk isn't going to make you fat. Skimmed milk isn't going to make you slim. It's um, just different ways of hitting different macros. If, for example, your fat macros are really high, you struggle hitting them because you eat really lean meats all day and nothing processed with fats in and stuff, then whole milk's fine because you, you're going to want to um, have a little bit in your diet. Um, skimmed milk, if you're eating more fatty meats, you're hitting your fats easily through other sources. Um, then skim, skimmed milk, almond milk, things like that, um, which which I have because I like to get my fats through um, through meats and egg yolks normally. But no food's going to make you fat, no food's going to make you thin. It's just a case of whether you are going over your um, calories and macros and whether, whether your body's consuming more than it needs to. So if you have if you're having loads of whole milk, it's gonna make you 
fat it can go over what your body needs um, if you have loads of skimmed milk it's going to do the same thing but you just have to have more of the skimmed milk anyway I hope that's cleared things up a little bit um, I'll leave that with you throw me any questions if you need good luck guys